So, your game plan today, you need to know how to add, subtract, and multiply polynomials. Add, subtract, piece of cake. Multiply, it's a little bit. A little bit more work. So let's review the vocabulary. Term. What is the definition of a term? If you think of this, it's the number of parts or pieces. So the number of parts or pieces in an expression. Austin, if you've got this, um, 3x, how many terms are in that expression? That just has one term. What if you got this? 3x plus 2. What's well, 3x plus 2? Austin, sit up. How many terms 3x plus 2? Two terms. How about this one? 3x squared plus 2y minus 4. Three terms. So a term, that's the number of parts or pieces. Like terms. If we talk about like terms, what are like terms? Yes, like terms can be combined. So, if you got this, Ashley, if you got 2x squared minus 4 plus 3x squared minus 4, you got two terms and you got two terms. Which ones can be combined? Uh, four, four, Ashley. Move back here. You can combine this term and this term. So 2x squared plus 3x squared is going to give you a total of 5x squared. And then you can combine this guy with this guy. A minus 4 and a minus 4 is a negative 8. So combine your like terms. That's what we're talking about. Now, let's talk about polynomials. How does this add into polynomials? Um, first of all, let's talk about a monomial. A monomial is one term. An example is 5x. There's only one piece, one part. A binomial is two terms. So that could be like 5x plus 7. And a trinomial is three terms. So I, I skip polynomial. 5x plus 7 plus 3y. Now, what is a polynomial? Polynomial is four or more terms, but even it's any of these. A polynomial is any of these. A polynomial could be a monomial could be a binomial, could be a trinomial. So it's any of these. Or we only really have specific names for the first three. Anything bigger than that, we just call it a polynomial. Quadrinomial, quintinomial. Hey, yeah, we just call them polynomials. Now, Jamie, that's by how many number of terms, how many parts or pieces. That determines if it's a monomial, binomial, or trinomial. Now your next slide right here. The degree. Polynomial. Let's write any of those. So polynomial, we could write this. We could write um, it's any yeah, any number of terms. Good, who said that? Savannah, good job. Any number of terms. But specifically, if it's got one, we call it a monomial. Now, the degree. The degree, you look at the largest exponent. Linear. Do you remember talking about linear earlier on in the year? Linear is a straight line. Linear is this. 4x. Quadratic is 4x squared. What's cubic? 4x cubed. 4X cubed. What's quartic? 4x to the fourth. What's quintic? 4x to the fifth. And the we stop there.
So we have special names for the first five. Anything else we don't. So if you got this, if you got 4x to the 6, it's just degree 6. We do have a scientific name for the first five, but that's it. Okay, linear. Thomas, write this down. That is a straight line. Alright, we're back. Okay, adding polynomials. You need to know three things. You need to add them, subtract them, and multiply them. So, here we are. Now, give me the scientific name of this right here. Ashley, how many terms does this have? Two, so it's called a binomial. Now, the degree. What's the biggest exponent? So, this scientifically is called a quadratic quadratic binomial so quadratic binomial and you are going to add this to it which is a which is also a quadratic binomial so you're adding a quadratic binomial to a quadratic binomial now the bottom how many terms does the bottom have so it's called a trinomial what's the degree the biggest exponent is 2, so this on the bottom is a quadratic trinomial. Okay, addition is the easiest because you've done it for years. If you're adding polynomials, Stokes, you can only add like terms. So what matches up with the 5y? Negative 8y. Add them up. What's 5y plus negative 8y? Negative 3y. What matches up with y squared? So what's 3y squared minus 6y squared? Negative 3y squared, and that is your answer. Yes, you can. Just put subtract 3y squared. Okay, the bottom. Let's add the trinomials. What is 3x squared? What matches up with 3x squared? What's 3x squared plus x squared? 4x squared. What matches up? What's a negative x and 4x? So these two go together, and that's going to be... So those are called like terms. And what's 2 minus 9? Okay, you're done. Okay, that's adding polynomials. Now let's do subtracting polynomials. Subtracting polynomials, here we go. You have got to subtract everything in the parentheses. So I would just do this. I would distribute that subtract to both of these. So make that a negative 8xy. And make that a negative 3y squared. you got to subtract both things. So just distribute the subtract to both of them. Okay, what pairs up with 4x squared? Nothing. So 4x squared. What pairs up with negative 3y squared? Negative 3y squared. So you combine them, what do you got? You got negative 6y squared. Now, what pairs up with 5xy? Negative 8xy. You combine them and you get negative 3xy. So the trick with subtracting polynomials, you got to subtract everything in the parentheses. So look at this. Take this negative to that guy. Take this negative to that guy. What's 10x squared minus 3x squared? 7x squared. What's a negative 3xy minus 5xy? Negative 8xy. What's 4y squared? Uh, it's a loner. It doesn't pair up with anything. So plus 4y squared. So adding polynomials, subtracting polynomials. Pretty easy. Now let's do multiplying polynomials. Okay, multiplying polynomials. Write this down. Distributive. If you understand the distributive property, this is a piece of cake. Thomas, here we go. 
you have got a monomial right here a monomial one piece one term you are gonna multiply a monomial what is this guy called trinomial so you need to multiply each term by this monomial each part each piece here we go times your numbers what's negative 5 times negative 3 so you're gonna have 15 what's a times a squared a to the third what's b squared times b b to the third okay we're a third of the way done put a plus now let's multiply that by the 6a cubed b what's a negative 5 times 6 negative 30 what's a times a cubed a to the 4 what's b squared times b b to the third we're getting close we're two-thirds of the way done now let's multiply it to the last term what's the negative 5a squared times negative 3a to the fourth b to the fourth 15 a to the fifth b to the sixth and you're done that's all but now look at the look at this bottom you have a binomial you've got two terms multiplied by two terms not the very very end when you get to here plus plus then you add them you can't add these up now you got times them yes now are you talking about this one right here yeah is there anything in here that has like terms can we clean this up uh the 15 but look it's these you look at is there an a cube b cubed you can only add a cube b cubed to another a cube b cubed there's a b cubed but it's a to the fourth so it's slightly different than a cube b cube what one Yeah, you're done. You're done. You cannot do any more than that. Okay, now this guy right here. That one is. This guy right here. You need a cubed. You need to multiply that to each term in the second set of parentheses. So what's a cubed times a cubed? A to the sixth. Plus, what's a cubed times b? a cubed b a cubed times b now the a cubed is done so now I'm gonna take the negative b I'm gonna focus on him now I need to take the negative b times a cubed and the negative b times b so what's negative b times a cubed It's negative a cubed b. Can I rearrange it and write it like that? Yeah. And what's the negative b times negative b? Uh, negative, b. negative b squared. Oh. Now look at your center two terms. Look at your middle terms. What's a cubed b minus a cubed b? Zero. Zero. That's gone. So you've got a to the sixth plus, or I guess minus b squared. 